I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere shalom to the doctrine that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. First and foremost, I want to say to Wadi Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai for giving me and a fellow I can the opportunity to leave you lessons in these videos, the opportunity to go out there on the highways and on the hedges, all to edify and warn the nations of Israel, which are the so called Negroes, the Latinos. And Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel, the ones the laws, statutes, and commandments, as well as the promises were given to. Okay, Shalom Warm. So, this is going to be a really, really quick video because uh, uh, on this word, immaculate, on these words, immaculate con con conception. All right, pretty much. We know what it, we, we know what it is. I'm not really going to go into too much into it. Um, but these, this is what like vocab and them teaches, you know, that, that an angel came and, you know, got married. Uh, pregnant, you know, and all and all that other bullshit. So, um, immaculate. This is the word immaculate because you really gotta, you really gotta, you know, really go into these words, and they know what they mean by immaculate con conception. All right, spotless, clean, and immaculate uh, kitchen and um, um, immaculate uh, uniforms, having or containing no flaw or error. All right, an immaculate record of service. All right, in immaculate detail, having no stain or blemish, pure. All right, an immaculate heart. Okay, conception. We we know what that is, like conceiving a child or whatever. So a perfect conception. A perfect conception. They claim an angel came and had sex with Mary or whatever. The thing is, let's let's get let's get this scripture, cause you you then you really gotta think you really gotta think about this stuff, man. First Corinthians chapter six verse nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall and shall not inherit the kingdom of of the Most High? All right, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And as it goes on, I just, that's the main point. It pretty much says, shall I inherit the kingdom of heaven, right? So, it's the, 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 the key word here is adulterous. You claim this is an immaculate conception. Now, when you read, if you Christians ever, ever really, really, really read the Bible, when a woman couldn't have a child and they prayed to the Lord and the Lord gave them a child, how did the Lord, how did the Lord always give them that child? They gave them that child through their husbands. They gave them they gave them that that child through their husbands, and it was always mainly a son because they always prayed for a son because it was very important. It was very important at that time to have a son because the son is the one that carries on the lineage. Daughters don't, all right. Daughters are used to carry on somebody else's lineage, right? Like if like if an Edomite lay with a with an Israelite woman, this is you know that, that baby is not an Israelite, and that's what polite and them teaches. So it's like it gives the black woman the freedom to lay with the lay with a, with Edomites and anybody else. It's not the case. It's like if we lay with with a, with an Edomite and we have a child with an Edomite, uh, with an Edomite woman, uh, that that child is going to be an Israelite child because the seed comes from the male. All right, the seed comes from the male. That's common sense. That's common sense. The Egyptologists and all that other bullshit, man, can all can can just man get out you know um because egyptologists believe that it, that both male and female are equals if that's the case then then what's the point of what's the point of you know a male having having sex with a female if they both equal doesn't make any sense right i'm not saying that the woman don't have a don't have a purpose i'm not saying that all right obviously i'm not saying that i really shouldn't have to say that all right you should already know what i'm saying immaculate conception Having, having or containing no flaw or error, pretty much free of sin. Adultery is a sin. So, like the elder, like so, the elder, you know, likes asking. You, you, you are this woman's husband, right? She comes to you, and says, "Hey, I'm pregnant," now, out of nowhere, right? And you know, you damn, you damn sure know you didn't do it. You want, you want to look at, you want like be like, what the fuck? What, what is this? What the hell is this? The Lord, look, man, the Lord does things decently and in order. The Lord is not the author of confusion. 
So where in the world did this immaculate conception conception come from? It's nothing immaculate about that, man. There's nothing uh, free free of sin about that, man. You see, you telling me our Savior was born of adultery? I'm talking about our Savior. Some of us are born from from adultery in this wicked ass uh, society. But the Lord said, "What the the Lord's Son, the the, the Most High Son is is pure, man. The Most High Son, Yahweh Shah, is pure. That's why he had that skin complexion. That's why he was made the way he was made, man. He was born the way he was born. Because he's not the Lord's going to make sure he he's not uh, uh, being born from adultery, man, in an adulterous relationship." That doesn't make any sense, man. I'll save you the one that's going to come back and burn this place for adultery. Right? Come on, man. That doesn't make any sense. You know? There's nothing immaculate about that. You look at this word immaculate, and you look at the you look at how the immaculate con conception is. You really think about, like, well, okay, well, what the fuck is so immaculate about that? That sounds like straight adultery. So Joseph got a sit outside the tent is like you know listen to this angel the so-called angel right bang his woman come on man that doesn't make any sense man right let's get this first corinthians chapter 3 verse verse 19 because it's really not a surprise that this world really thinks that hell you have a lot of people saying god is a woman you know or shit like that but they still turn around and say he 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 because the lord already instilled in us that you know it's immediately a he and people always say the, the god don't have a gender it is all it's always about gender man all right man, man is the head all right the woman is under men and, the, and then the children it's always about gender man that's what are you, what are you talking about but that's because this place has no order it's because this place has no order and, and without order then you could come up with this immaculate conception it's a defiled conception, man. That's what that is. That's defiled conception. There ain't nothing immaculate about that. Right? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. All right? That's straight up foolishness, man. I ain't got to break that down. I always pull that scripture out. All right? The wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. And that's that dumbass Christianity. Right, that's that that's that stupid ass Christianity. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For 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 shall the works uh, say of him that made it, he made me not. It says, Or shall or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. Alright. You're turning the things upside down. You know, it, what did it just say? It's going to be esteemed as the pot is clay. All right. Everything in this world is upside down. Okay. Everything about this place is upside down. So the way we, the way we, 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 uh, you know, to the way we, uh, we eat, the way we live, you know, we're not supposed to be stacked on top of each other. All claustrophobic and sh I mean, uh, not claustrophobic, all, you know, clustered up and shit, you know? We ain't supposed to be stacked on top of each other, man. We ain't supposed to be living like this, all right? We're not supposed to be breathing in chemicals every time you turn around. We're not supposed to be breathing in and, and taking in radiation. We're not supposed to be around high doses of the radiation, but we are, all right? Well, this, this, everything about this place is upside down. On down to this immaculate conception. That immaculate conception is some, is some sickening bullshit, man. If that's the case... Then why do people get mad when when people cheat on each other? For you Christians, why do you get mad when 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 your when your wife or your husband cheat, so called cheat on you? If that is the case, you shouldn't have a problem with it because the Savior, right? The Savior came from what an adulterous relationship, right? So you shouldn't have a problem with it. You shouldn't have a problem with people when people cheat on you. It's an angel. Mary pretty much cheated on 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 Joseph for this angel. So you sitting up there saying praise Jesus. 
Well, wait a minute. He came from a, an adulterous relationship. So why do you have a problem when people cheat on you? Should be no such thing as cheating them, right? Y'all, you Christians, man. You Christians are fucking sick. That hell doctrine stuff, man. When you when you see the pictures of that shit in the movies, it's like, man, Christians really believe in this stuff. When you look at Doom, I you know you played the played the even a video game Doom, and they show the hell shit. It's like, man, Christians believe in this shit. Man, y'all are some sick bastards, man. Y'all are some sick bastards. And we're down to on down to to sit up there saying that our savior that's coming back to deliver Israel came from an adulterous relationship. Come on, man. That makes the that makes the most high an adulterer then, man. That makes the almighty, the creator of all things, an adulterer. The creator of all things is, is an adulterer. You Christians are sick, man. Y'all are sick. And that's why this Christianity has to burn, man. This Christianity has to go down. Y'all are some sick fiends, man. You Christians are fucking sick. Vocab? I ain't surprised about you, man. You a damn devil, whatever. Y'all Christians are sick. Giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah, Shalom.